I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a test paper from my student, IB Grade 10, Coordinates and Geometry, Unit 2. The question here is to find the length of the chord. Let us discuss it in details. The question is, determine the length of the chord from x-intercept to y-intercept on the circle x square plus y square equals to 49. So that's a very interesting way of finding length of a chord, right? So it's kind of an application interesting question. Therefore, I decided to share it with you. Now, let's sketch a circle. So that's kind of an approximate circle. Let us say, we'll just make guidelines and connect these points and form a circle, okay? So that becomes a circle for me. The equation of the circle is given to us as x square plus y square equals to 49, which I can write as 7 square, correct? So that clearly shows that radius of the circle is 7, right? So that means from center, all these points will be 7 units away. So that is one way of finding x and y intercepts. We know the x intercepts and the y intercepts. The question is, determine the length of the chord from x-intercept to y-intercept. From the symmetry, we can select any two points, right? Let us do these two points. And let that be the length of the chord in which we are taking interest. Of course, you can find x and y interest, intercepts from the formula, right? So let's calculate from the formula also for x intercept y equals to 0 right so that means the equation will be if I want to find x intercept y has to be 0 we get x square equals to 7 square right and that gives you x equals to I should write 49 right 7 square square root of 7 square let me write like that but whenever you do square root, you have to write plus and minus. And so you get two x-intercepts which are plus and minus 7. I hope this concept is clear to you, right? Plus and minus. Whenever you do square root, because minus 7 squared is also 49. So you get these two x-intercepts. Now to find y-intercept, we have to put x equals to 0. If I put x equals to 0, let me use this equation this time. Then I get... 0 plus y square equals to 49. So I get y square equals to 49. And from here, I can say y equals to plus or minus. Whenever you do square root, take two plus and minus values, correct? Square root of 49, and that is again equals to plus and minus 7. So you get these two y-intercepts. Now, let's determine the length of the chord from x-intercept to y-intercept. From the symmetry, you can select any one of them. So as I've shown, we are selecting these two points. Let me call these points as P and Q. Now for me, point P is x coordinate minus 7, y 0, and point Q is 0, 7. Length PQ will be equal to, we'll use the length formula, which you know is x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square, correct, square root. So in this case, x2 is 0, so it's 0 minus minus 7, so it's 2, 0 minus minus 7 whole square, plus y value 7, 7 minus 0 whole square, square root. So that gives us, as equal to, 0 minus 7, seven square is, minus 7 is, plus 7, 7 square will be 49, so we get 49 here, plus 7 square is again 49, so we get 49, so we get 2 times 49 square root, right? So this is 2 times not decimal, right? Okay, let me put them in brackets. 49 is 7 square, so we can write this as 7 square root 2. So that is the exact value, right? So it is preferred to write the exact value, right? If sometimes they say write to two decimal places, then you can find answer to two or three, whatever the question is saying, right? At present, we can say 
our answer is the Descartes length is 7 square root 2 right so that is how you can solve such questions I hope you understand and appreciate it thank you and all the best